What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 73 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be looking at updating the maximum level of our Pokemon. First, we're going to look at our scripts and see how we can change our maximum level settings. Then after that, we're going to install a script by Medj71 with a method that allows us to update the max level values from within our game. Then after that, we're going to set up a couple events so that way we can change our maximum level, and then we'll get it running and everything will be awesome. So with all that said, let's get into it. What I've got here is just, you know, Pokemon Essentials. I'm on Route 7 like I like to be. And uh, the first thing we want to do is we just want to go into our script editor here. In the settings script, we can scroll down, and right here is the maximum level of our game. What we could do is we could increase this. For my April Fool's video, I made the maximum level 420, but we could increase this from 100 to 200 if we wanted to. We could increase it to 2000 and everything would work just fine. As long as our current Pokemon's level is less than the maximum level, we'll still be able to gain experience on level up and then calculate stats um, as necessary. One thing that we need to be really careful of when doing is when we lower the maximum level. So for example, our maximum level was 100, and I've just lowered it now to 20. We need to be very careful when doing this because if you try to get into a battle against somebody who has a Pokemon that is greater than the maximum level, your game will crash. So check this out. Here I am, I've got a level 19 routes here, and I'm just going to run around in the grass, and everything's going to be fine, because this Shellos here is not level 20 or higher, it's level 12. But what happens if I go over here to an event like so, that tries to have me fight against a, I think this is a level 51 Bulbasaur in this event? Yeah, the game just crashes. Okay, that's pretty neat. So, here we go, this is just a level 51 Bulbasaur. So as long as we're careful and make sure that we're not fighting anything that's higher than our maximum level, we should be okay. But what if we wanted to update our maximum level from within the game? Or actually, real quick, let me uh, let me set this maximum level to 19. Let's let's show this off. Let's show let's showcase what it looks like when it's working just fine in game using this switch. And then after that, we can look into our method, and that's going to be super cool. I've got a lot of great ideas for that. I think it's a lot of fun. So check this out. The Gyarados that was level 20 became level 19 as well. Diglett became level 19. Routes was already level 19. And um, to next level right now is negative values, so that's pretty cool. The reason that this is occurring is because it had to subtract that experience from our, from our Pokemon when reducing its level. So if you ever <laughs> if you ever feel like reducing the level, it's probably a good idea not to. Um, if you have your maximum level be 100, but then later in the game you set your maximum level down to like 50, it's going to cause a lot of jank issues. Additionally, my Gyarados, he's going to have the same base stats as he did when he was level 20 now, so it doesn't do the best job of calculating all those. You could call Pokemon Calculate Stats or whatnot, but yeah, it's just, it's very jank if you reduce values. So for our case, it's probably best to just only increase values. Anyway, let's get into a wild battle now. And uh, hopefully I can activate my speed up switch. There it is. Let's just beat up this routes. I mean, <laughs> I'm the routes. Let's beat up this Wurmple. Oh no, string shot. Confusion once again. Okay, so our maximum level is 19. And I'm level 19. Look at that, the battle just ends without me getting any experience. Let's try this now with a rare candy. My routes is currently sitting at the maximum level, so I theoretically shouldn't be able to use a rare candy on it, right? It won't have any effect. There you go, that's pretty cool. So it's already set up in such a way that the game will take in our maximum level and act accordingly. If our Pokemon is at the max level, we won't get any more experience. And if our Pokemon's at a max level, we can't use rare candies on it. So, cool. This would be one thing that you can mess around with if you want to change the max level for your game. But what if we wanted to make a game where the more you play it, that more that max level increases? So what we could do is we could just set this to 100 once again, and there's a script that we can actually install from Medge71, and it's a very small script, but it's a very useful one that allows us to reset our values for maximum level here. So let's go in real quick and let's grab it. There will be a link to this in the description as well, but this is really just a method here called PB Update Max that Medge71 created, and PB Update Max allows us to redefine the maximum level and our max level. These are two different variables. Um, in Pokemon Essentials though, max level just gets set to maximum level. Let me showcase that real quick. Yeah, it's right here. In PB Experience, max level just gets set to maximum level. So what this does is it resets both of these. It sets them to be a value that we choose. 
So let's go in and copy all of this. Aha! Uh -huh. And we're going to tweak it a little bit also, so that way it's more what we want. Let's go back into our script editor once again, and let's scroll all the way down. And let's add this as a new script right here, above main. Make sure you do it above main. And we'll just call this update max by medge 71 Cool. Paste that in right here. So the way that this works is, it will set the maximum level equal to the value of variable 77. And it'll also set the max level to the value of variable 77. But what if instead we just wanted to pass a value into this method? That's actually very easy to do. We can change the definition of the method here to do parentheses level. So what this does is now whenever PB update max is called, we should pass in a level. And instead of setting it to the value of variable 77, we can set it to level. And let's just do that once again right here. Ta-da. There we go. Now what we do, or rather now what we have, is we have a method that we can call with a script command in an event called PB update max that will change our maximum level and our max level to the value that we've passed into the method. So let's showcase this in game. Let's make a new event here and let's just make it, I don't know, a little berry. And let's do insert and let's let's make this a more complicated event. Let's say choose a new max level. Let me make sure that I uh, spell stuff right. Okay, now let's make a conditional branch here where, or rather, sorry, not a conditional branch, we want to do show choices. Let's make it so that way if you cancel, it takes choice one, and choice one is 100. And then choice two is 200. Choice three could be, I don't know, how about 50? And choice four could be, let's make that 20. Uh, let's make that 15. This is gonna be pretty weird, but okay. So now what we can do is we can just call our methods. Let's go to the third page here of the event commands and do script, and we just want to call pb update max and then pass in the value, 100. Cool. And then we can just copy and paste this. Instead of setting it to 100, now let's set it to 200. Copy and paste. Let's just set this to 50 over here. And then for this next one, let's set it to 20. That was what it was, right? 20, not 25? Oh, no, it was 15. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right, so what we've got here now is a method that will change our maximum level in our game. Let's actually beautify this a little bit also. Let's make it so that way it also sets a variable, and let's make it variable 26, and we can just call it maximum level. As you can see, I've actually already made this variable called maximum level, and we'll just set it equal to the same value. Okay, so that's 100. This will be 200. This one will be 50. The reason that we're doing this is because we can print it out in a text. So the value of variable 26 is now mirroring the value of our maximum level. So let's do show text and we could say the max level is now set to and then slash V 26. And that'll pull the value, the value stored in variable 26. Okay, so Let's go ahead and run this now real quick, shall we? By default, our maximum level is 100. That's what it was set back to in the settings script. So let's just get into a battle now and showcase that our routes can earn experience. All right, routes, beat up this Shellos. You're doing great, routes. I believe in you. Yeah. Good job, routes. And routes gains 98 experience points there. Cool. So level 19, level 20, level 20. Let's take a look at these stats. I guess let's look at our routes' of stats. 18 attack, 13 defense, 27 special attack. 27 special attack is pretty good, right? Okay, let's set our max level now to 15. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, all of our Pokemon are set to level 15. Unfortunately, since our levels went down, we're going to see that jank issue I was talking about before, where the experience is now negative 4,000 there, negative 5,000. And the base stats are the same as they were before the level change, 18, 13, 27. So it's a little bit weird if you decrease the max level, but let's increase it now. Let's set it back to 100. Take a look. Our Pokemon have those same experience points as they had before. So look at that. Once you know it, everything goes right back to looking pretty good. The base stats are unchanged, but we have all of our experience back. Now what we could do is we could even set the value to 200. 
Now, let's go and debug increase our routes' level. Um, what I want to do is I actually want to go to Pokemon. Alright. I shall increase your level routes. Let's set you up to 200. And this is going to calculate all the stats now. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's a lot of experience points. That's a lot of base stats. 239 special attack. Although, may I don't know. Maybe that's not that great for a level 200. So, if I get into a battle now at level 200, I'm my Pokemon's level is equal to the maximum level, so Routes isn't going to gain any experience here. Look at that. Oh, At least we can get into that battle against that... Uh, Bulbasaur now though. It was a level 51 Bulbasaur, so it's beneath our max level, so that's kind of cool. Let's get the hell out of here though. So, if I go in once again and I change that max level down now to 50, all of our Pokemon that were above 50, or I guess that was just Routes. Routes' level has now been moved down to 50. But look at that, negative 9 million experience. That's pretty good. And it retains those same base stats as before. Hey guys, quick interjection here. If you want to fix that jank issue that I was talking about, where the Pokemon stats aren't moved down when their level is lowered, then you would want to add this to the end of the event. What this does is it calculates your Pokemon stats. It does this for every Pokemon in the party. For every Pokemon in the trainer's party, it runs Pokemon.CalculateStats, and then it ends. So what this does is it'll set our level and then calculate the stats at the end. So let's show that off real quick with our routes once again. We have that level 19 routes, and its base stats, I believe it had around 27 special attack. Let's check it out real quick. Oh, routes, look at you. Yeah, 27 special attack. Let's actually lower it now down to level 15. Let's lower the max level for everybody down to level 15. And then check this out. Now, routes is level 15, and his stats have been calculated once again. Pretty nice. The base experience is unfortunately still negative, but at least this fixes that stat issue. So that's pretty neat. Hopefully you find that helpful, and hopefully you run this in your event. Once again, let's look at it one more time. After everything has been set and our level has been changed, you just want to run for Pokemon in Trainer Party, Pokemon.CalculateStats, and bada boom. Hopefully that helps. So, let's uh, fight that Bulbasaur once again. Our game has a max level of 50, and the Bulbasaur is set to 51, so this should cause a crash, and it did. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this tutorial has helped you. Um, showcasing it <laughs> crashing at the end might not be the, uh, the best way to showcase this, but... Hopefully this gives you an interesting idea of what you could do for your game. One thing I was thinking is making it so that way in the starting area the maximum level is 10 or 20, and all of the Pokemon there are level 10 or 20 as well. And then once you beat the gym leader, then you could increase the max level and he could tell you, hey, now you can train up to level 20. And then from there all your Pokemon would gain experience once again, go up to level 20, then you beat the next gym leader, so on and so forth. If you wanted to, what you could do is this. You could copy the same logic and go to, say, a gym like here, and here's Brock. And what you could do is after you beat him, you could just make it so that way the max level is updated. You know, if it was 20 before, you could update it to 30, and then he could say maximum level is 30. And then after you beat him, he could print out showing text and say, now you can train Pokemon up to level and then print out the value of variable 26. Cool. If you wanted to. That's just another way that you could mess around with these events. But yeah, I'm definitely thinking that um, for my next project, I would want to include something like, like that in it, and I think it's pretty neat. And um, hopefully this has helped you get some cool ideas on how you can mess around with max levels in your game. You could make an April Fool's video like I did where the max level is 420. I don't know. I mean, if you're into that, you can do that. Anyway, uh, that does it for me for this tutorial. Um, thank you for Me to Mage71 for creating this method. This is awesome and fantastic, and I appreciate it very much. And uh, hopefully you guys follow all those social links in the description. And uh, until next time, I hope that you guys all have a good one.